poke your reach up through the head of eye and touch it on here. I find that kind of fiddly. Yeah. I'm gonna, I've moved the four petals over for the first four. Yeah. I'm going to pick, now there's two threads in a dent, it mm -hmm. doesn't matter which thread you pick. And I'm just going to kind of separate that, put it through the heddle. And at first you're probably going to have to use your hands like this mm -hmm. until you get used to handling it, and then you can do it with one hand only. And then you push the heddles to the side and you continue threading. So we're threading from this side to that side. Now if you're sitting at that part of the loom, it's from left to right. From here, it's right to left. From the back, it's from right to left. So that's the uh, selvage. Now in this case, the selvage happens to be the same threading sequence as the blocks. Not always the case. So now what is the threading sequence? for this white? Um, so is that... It's or? block A. Okay. And here's block A is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, four. Two, four. So for each block, you can draw across two petals equally on harness one, two, three, and four. You could draw more also because your sequence is actually uh, going to be one, two, three, four, 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 until you use up all the white ones. Mm. But um, if you draw an e even number across at a time, if you I make any I'm mistakes... I'm waking up to something here. Mm -hmm. So the white's going to be on one mm -hmm. to four, mm -hmm. and the greens are going to be on the four, mm -hmm. five to eight. That's why... That's what you were trying Visualization, to... yeah, you know, yeah. sometimes it doesn't happen until you sit at the loom. Mm. So this oh. one, two, three, and four is blockade. Yeah. 5, 6, 7, 8 is block B. Now we just happen to have block A as white mm -hmm. and block B as green. You don't have to do it that way. But it visually, it helps. It helps. Okay. So now I've got one block moved over, eight mm. threads. Thread one, two, and if you draw your petals over like this mm -hmm. in groups, it, makes it, easier to it makes it easier. And if you do make a threading error, you're not going to end up with an even number of petals mm -hmm. when you're finished. Yeah. And you're going to go, now, why do I have an extra one? Yeah. Of, you know, and you look at your what you did, and you see your mistake. Mm -hmm. Now, the wire petals, yeah, yeah, visually, <laughs> you, you can... But that's just the way it is. They are I'm very light. Yeah. I'm thinking, how much would it cost me to change all those heddles? It's like 300 bucks. And sometimes with the wire heddles, you do have to get your two fingers in there because they just sort of catch and hang up mm. and bind. But okay. That's light. They're very lightweight. That is one benefit. Yeah. So you wouldn't do all the weights. Well, you would do the white, then the green the, on these back. That's right, yeah. Then, so when you come okay. to the green, you know it's time yeah. for block B. Now, yeah. if you were, if you didn't have a color separation as well, you'd have to count. Yeah. If you had blocks within the white, yeah. you'd have to thread so many mm. numbers of block A, okay. count them, and then thread your block mm. B. So, so it's making. Do, do that? Yes. So you can now. Um, I'm s suggesting that different people thread each block because mm. that way. Um, First of all, there's consistency, and then if there is a mistake, then that person can fix it. Okay. If you know who did which ones. But uh, we're s switching now, so. Yeah. Um, so I'll do white, and then somebody else can do the, the green. green. And you might have to explain to them. Okay. Because then the green will be on five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Yay!